Hi and welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam. And in this particular video, I will introduce you to the concept of dependency injection. Now, as you know, that when you create objects in your application, uh, they have dependencies on other objects. So in order to create object A, you must first create object B and object C and so on. Uh, it's all also quite fair to say that no object is an island and they have relationships together, okay? Although they might not have dependencies, but they might have relationships. So let's say that I have this home controller, okay? And in the index action, I want to use some sort of a service, okay? I want to use the I something service, which is something service as a concrete class. And I also want to use a repository, which is a food repository and I food repository. One of the ways of doing this is to simply say that, okay, I have a iFood repository, which is a repository, okay? And I can make uh, i something service, which will be my service. And I can simply say home controller and I can initialize both things inside the home controller. So I can say something like repository is equal to new repository and service equal to new service. This is okay, this will work. The problem is that uh, now you're dependent on that particular one particular uh, constructor and also what will you do if you have another other repositories over here? I mean other dependencies for to create the food repository or other dependencies to create the something service. I mean, we can go on and on over here to create other dependencies, okay? But there are some other tools that will provide you that will manage the dependencies for you if you can just tell them that what dependencies you think there are in the application and they will uh, manage all the dependencies, okay? So let's take a look at that tool. Um, there are a bunch of dependency injection tools. Uh, you can use uh, Unity, you can use uh, Structure Map, which I'm going to show in this one, this screencast, and you can also use Ninject, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is to remove these things, remove these dependencies, because I don't need them. I'm going to remove this also. I don't need this, okay? The first thing I need to do is to tell structure map that when I'm requesting I food repository, you need to give me back food repository. And when I tell you to give me I something service, then you need to give me something service, okay? So when I request a particular interface, you need, I need to get a concrete type of that interface. So since this is an ASP.NET MVC application, there's a global.asx file, and inside that we have application start. You need to tell structure map about your configuration, about how the dependencies are uh, mixed together or joined together in the application start. So you just want to do it once, okay? Uh, you need to download the DLLs and everything, which is, uh, structure map DLL okay and it has uh, the structure map it has a very good um, I would say support and help pages I mean this like pages and pages of material that you can actually read over there and uh, find the things that you're actually looking for so first thing I need to say is abject factory dot initialize and what I'm doing right now is I'm telling a structure map that hey these are my dependencies, okay? So for requested type, if I ever request a type full repository, okay, then I am telling structure map to give me the concrete type, which is full repository, okay? And in the same way I can do for the other one, which is if I'm requesting I something service, then you should return me the default type, which is something service. This is as easy as, as it gets, right? So using this configuration, what I have done is I'm telling that when I request I food repository interface type, you need to return me food repository. When I request for I something service, you need to give me back something service. Now, if I go back over here to my home controller, and if I need to get access to a full repository, 
I'm just going to say object factory dot get instance and I can tell it that okay you need to give me a iFood repository instance okay which will be a food repository same way I can also say var service equal to object factory dot dot get instance and I can say i something service and we have already made the hookup or already made it clear to structure map that whenever we request i something service it needs to give me a something service an instance of something service and that it's what's going to do now i can call different methods and something okay and uh, let's run it to see that in action so right now you can actually see that I am over here and if I request this I will get a instance of a repository as you can see in the uh, debugging windows and it's calling the methods as we expected to call okay and that's pretty much it so it's a good idea to use a dependency, a dependency injection container or a tool that will resolve the dependencies for you so you don't have to do that work manually it will also help you when you're unit testing and you just need an instance of a repository or you can also tell it to that hey when I am asking you I food repository you can give me a fake repository instead of a real one you can do all sort of that stuff uh, which we'll cover later I uh, just want to go over here on high on coding I just want you guys to let you know that there are tons and tons of articles okay this is a very good article you should read this it covers many different things it's called creating multiple choice exam uh, using ASP.NET MVC framework it's a very detailed article around like 2500 words and it will go let you you know it will go through how to create a very simple uh, multiple choice uh, exam and you can also download a sample at the end of the article if you like the videos if you like what you're watching you can always uh, email me at azamsharp at gmail.com visit high on coding and uh, just stay tuned on all the screencasts if you have suggestion i'm here and you can just email me at azamsharp at gmail.com thank you very much